What's going on, guys? It's Anthony Smart with Gaming, and we are back. Ready to slap. Super excited because Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak is here. A new adventure is about to begin. A worrisome letter has arrived from the kingdom, the homeland of Radin the Traitor. She's waiting at the village entrance for us. So, we've got to figure out what's going on. Uh, we've got to talk to Radin. And let's do it. Let's do it. What an ominous turn of events. So I'm super excited. Oh, wow. Okay. So we've got a few people to talk to actually first, quite before we do round D. Oh. Hey, Papo. Okay, so let's say how how's hunts with the pounds been going? I've got a couple of things you can use on the hunts. First, a handy dandy pound you pouch. A new command, sniff them out. Both super useful for gathering when you're on a quest and can't carry any more items. You can use the pound mute pouch to the pound mute pouch to carry more. You don't have to equip it like the other pound mute gear. Just take the pound mute on a quest with you, and that's it. So awesome, the pound mute pouch can uh, be used. That's great. I heard a little bit about that. And sniff them out command is even better. Using it will point out various items of intimate life on the map. Yeah, I heard about that one too. That's awesome. Giving more use to the pound mute is really good. That's awesome. Wonderful. All right, Sandry, what you got? Because you've been letting me down the past few uh, weeks haven't had anything for me. Nice. Oh, is that a Navi root outfit? I'm hollering. Okay. I think that's everybody. I oh, know. One more person. Uh oh. It's Master Root Sushi. Oh boy. Sounds like some gnarly business going on. Did you talk to Rondine yet? She's looking for you near the entrance to the village. Go put her mind at ease. I'm just going to be gathering some more intel before I report to the Elder. Okay, well, great. You do that. All right, now we can go talk to Rondine. We're ready to go. Oh, this is going to be great. Oh, this is awesome. Where's she at? Oh, she's over here. What up, Rondine? I, I knew she was going to say it. Hello, good hunter. Okay, I was waiting for your return. I have received a letter from my home country that contains somewhat troubling news. The letter was sent by my sister, and in it, she details how monsters from the kingdom have started invading neighboring territories. My sister belongs to the Knights of the Royal Order and has assembled a research team to combat this threat. Ideally, the research team would halt their advances before the village, but it's only a matter of time before some of these monsters reach Kimura shores if they have not already. Elder Fugan has already been brought up to speed, however, as you are the defender of this village, I would like you to be part of the discussion on this matter. Come, let us go speak with Elder Fugan. There isn't a moment to waste. Oh. Okay, there you are, Squirt. We've been waiting for you. All right, Itsushi, fill us in. So I'm sure you've already heard the not so gnarly news from Rondine. Monsters from the kingdom are starting to invade other territories, and looks like Kamura has been made the list of other territories. Okay, we just received word. <laughs> I'm so weak. We just received word that a daimyo hermitar has been spotted at the shrine ruins. That's a first for this region. That's a first for me ever. Merciful heavens, we're already too late. To think the turmoil of my homeland would jeopardize the safety of this village, how can I even begin to apologize? Take it easy, Rondine. None of us could have anticipated the monsters branching out, much less this quickly. The movements of monsters can, while it consistently exceeds our understanding, we barely knew anything about the rampage for years. At any rate, Squirt, we're going to need you to give our guests in the Shrine Ruins a proper Kamora welcome. 
Minota has a job lined up for you. Mitsushi, you've got your own mission. Nandine, let us know next time you hear from that research team. I get, uh, let's get to it. Okay. Interesting. All right, Minato. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is fight Daimyo. I'm so excited. As you are aware, we have a situation that needs your attention. Orders have come in for you to hunt the Daimyo Hermitar that's wandered into the Shrine Ruins. I've done a bit of research, and you're in for a real fight. Their massive claws are more than capable of crushing anything, especially hunters. Do be careful out there. Extra, extra careful. Unlike the Rampage, we've never dealt with anything like this before. This is exciting. Look at the picture. That's so awesome. I'm so happy that he's in the game. That is that is wonderful. He's, uh, you know, I'm I'm, a, I'm partial to Shogun personally because of how much of a hard time he gave me. But Daimyo is also very lovely. This is going to be so fun. And it's going to have a different feel because, of course, only ever fought Daimyo in Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. So, this is going to be awesome. Oh, I should probably get a puppy. So I have my two cats. My two gathering cats. Probably not going to be the best for the moment. I will take... Okay, Azio. And... I'll take my doggo. Alright. Awesome. I guess we're ready to go, guys. Let's see what this is. The uninvited guest. Oh, I'm so excited. Daniel Hermitar Shams went to the Shrine Ruins. All right. Gotta go get to it. Oh, look at this. Oh, what? Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a confident cat there. Separate moves. so weak. Daimyo! Oh my goodness. Shelled Sovereign. So weak. I, lo I love that they kept the uh, little haikus there. Those are nice. This is going to be so fun. Where's he at? There he is. Oh, let's just slide down here. This is going to be so great. I'm so excited. And of course, as I've heard, we're starting without the skills, just the, the, the switch swap skills. We're going nice classic rise for the time being. We're going to fight Daimyo for the first time in the fifth generation. What up, crab? Oh, he's huge! He's huge! Why is he so big? Oh my god! Oh, this is a problem. Oh, this is an issue. Oh, he's huge! I wasn't expecting him to be so large. Ouch, Daimyo! Wow, okay. 
Okay, you have classic shell attack. Uh oh, not all crap. Let's start with the first eight minutes first. This is incredible. Oh no, there he goes with that mess. Whoa, nice move there, Daimyo. Goodness. It's so good to see him, but he's so large. I'm not able to grasp the, the, the size. He's bigger than what I'm used to. Let's just say that. I don't know if they come this big all the time, but the ones that I fought, I don't quite, quite remember them being so large. Oh, now he's angry. Okay, wait, Daimyo. Wait, wait, wait. Please be nice. Please be nice. Ouch. Oh, no. Oh, here comes that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. This is awesome. Oh! I did some major damage, but so did he to me. I love this picture. Oh! I mean, that's just so forceful. That's some of the fifth generation stuff. Oh, no. Oh my god, why is he so fast? And then straight into a second attack, that's so, ouch. Oh, he's huge. I'm loving the Monopoly skull. Please let Monopoly be in the game. Oh, oops. I know that's just wishful thinking. I doubt that's going to happen. Now I've got you. Yes, lovely. Didn't particularly like that hit there, did you, bud? Oh, he moved, he moved, he moved. And then, of course, my hit didn't go through. So that's just great. Get him, Ozio. Beat him up. Explosion. Is he gonna move? He's moving. He looks so good, y'all. He looks incredible. Oh, let's sharpen this weapon. And this this should be a straightforward fight. I'm not expecting anything too crazy. This is a monster I'm familiar with, so, well, I'm not fairly familiar with, I've, I've had a little experience with Daimyo in the past. Hello, crab. Wait, don't leave. He's got a s similar attacks. Now, that, that jump and dive, punch, claw into the ground thing is brand spanking new. Let's see if we can't break these claws. Feeling like having some sauteed crab for dinner today. Been in the mood for seafood. Wanted to go for some shrimp or something, but crab is just as good. Oh man, I got it. His size is killing me. Oh no, 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 no. Wow, he's got he's to pull his claw out of the ground. Nice waddle sideways. I think that's that's lovely. His attacks look so good. Oh, he fell over. Ouch, Daniel. Nice. Now, of course, I gotta say, what I'm used to, what I'm used to is a crab like Daimyo being on, like, a, a Destiny map. Um, so for me, this is the first time I've seen a monster like Daimyo. Well, no, because... 
the deserted island. I think Daimyo's were on the deserted island, so I do take that back. Uh, let me heal. It would be really sad to think to Daimyo. Now, Shogun, I will tell you now, Shogun Sanitar is going to give me problems. He, his, my fighting style and him don't, don't go well together. Where's it going? Oh, his size is incredible. I still can't get over that. He's just so large. My, I don't even think I'm as tall as his belly. All right, come on, crab. Let's go. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. This way, this way, this way. Yes. Nice. Nice little hit there. Uh-oh. Oh, this is going to be awful. Oh, that was so nice. Right in the, right in the mouth. Then he missed. Ouch. Oof. Keep myself at max health. Oh, those are first aid med pluses. I'm wasting those. No wonder. Ooh, there we go. Okay, well, he won that one. Get him, Ozio. Because I'm struggling. I don't know what he was about to do there, but that did not look like it was going to be fun. He was running with both paws facing forward. Taking a trip. All right. Oh! We've got some triple monster action here. This ought to be interesting. All right. Let's do the necessary deed. Maybe one of them will leave before we go over there. I gotta stop using those first aids because I'm sitting there thinking those are the basic first aids. I gotta remember this is master. All right. All right. Let's see if we can't get a double wire and rat on Daimyo. This is so cool. So, so cool. I'm loving every minute of this. And grab. That was happening. He's so big. He just makes the Azuchi look really small. Hey, Azuros. Good of you to join us. Okay, now I've got two options. Let's go and write Azuros because I want to beat up Taimyo, so that, that works out well. Part's broken. Everybody takes a seat when Azuro starts clawing. Good old bloodlust incarnate at it again. Okay. What did I break? What did I break? Thanks, Azuro. See you, bud. Oh, he's angry now. And he's near death. This is nice. There he goes. Almost there. Nice. Great Izuchi Thick Throw, we've got the Master Egg materials we're drop getting out. Hanatar Cortex, Azure's Cortex. And I forgot about the special wire bug, it was sitting right there. I could have got some nice materials.
I just I can't get over his size. He looks beautiful, and his size is incredible. That Monopolis skull is humongous. I broke a claw, so I'm really happy. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? What the heck is he doing? Really sporadic movements. Oh, God, he boxed me in. He boxed me in. Oh, my God. Ouch. That wasn't pleasant. All right, let's try again. That Monoblo skull looks incredible. What did I break that time? Oh, I broke the Monoblo skull. That's so cool. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Ouch. Oh, yeah, that looks really cool. I have to. I just. It, it looks incredible. Everything about him is really good. And now he's doing that stuff. Hey, what is he doing? Uh oh. Oh no. I was wondering why he hadn't done that yet. Uh, let's heal. He's gonna he's gonna punish me. This is gonna be really sad. That sucker jumped a long ways. There we go. Well done, guys. Nice. That was fun. Let's carve this big boy. He's humongous. I just love this size. Look at the color there. It's a lot darker than I remember the, the reddish color being. That's really nice. This materials. Oh, that's so cool. It looks awesome. I'm actually on a different setup than I usually am. I'm using a larger monitor, so everything just looks even better right now. But that's awesome. I'm really happy. That's nice. Okay, so what are we going to find? Okay. Alright, so we loaded them up. We're headed back. That's really good. Okay. I like this because it's showing something that we don't really get to see a lot, which is what they do with the monster's corpse afterwards. <laughs> that is so funny to me. What? Uh oh. What is going on? What is going on? Oh.
looks so good. cool that was awesome lovely little cutscene Luna looks very vicious obtain an award royal request for a corporation oh. Okay, so overall, Daimyo looked really good. Of course, Luna looked amazing too. And now we've got Rodin's sister. First the Daimyo from the tower. And now we've got other monsters showing their ugly bugs. Of course, Luna Garen's messing up the ecosystem here because he's more of an apex monster from what I've been able to gather. In any case, we appreciate the backup. So you're Rodin's sister, huh? Yes, Honorable Elder Dame Purine. Knight of the Royal Order at your service. Dear sister, it appears the monsters from our homeland are invading this region at an unprecedented speed. These monsters' behaviors, do you think the crater has anything to do with it? As expected of the village elder, you have commendable insight. No, but most of the villagers aren't aware of this, but 50 years ago, the kingdom suffered its own calamity. You see this massive hole opened up far away from Kibora in a coastal region right outside the kingdom's domain. Because of its proximity, it fell under royal jurisdiction, but there was another reason why the kingdom got involved. The kingdom got involved because a similar phenomenon had occurred centuries before in the capital. The ground gave way, and the elder dragon Malzino emerged and nearly brought our precious kingdom to the brink of ruin. Then it simply disappeared. This disaster repeated itself 50 years ago, a crater formed, Alzino emerged, calamity ensued, and then disappeared again. Its whereabouts remain unknown. Fearing its return, the Royal Order established an outpost in an old fort to monitor the crater. However, the light, in light of recent events, construction has begun to rebuild the fort. We've even given it a proper name, Elgato. The grand, a grand name, is it not? So you think these invading monsters are behaving like this because old Malzino is back. Too soon to say the crater shows no signs of activity, still that hypothesis is the basis of our team's expedition. We knights vow to protect our fair kingdom from any threat. If it has returned, we shall lay down our lives for the cause. Lay down your lives, huh? Hmm. Right, no enough. I've got an admission for you. You need to work with Uranium and the Kingdom. Help them resolve this situation. This goes beyond Kamora. If the monsters keep acting up, every ecosystem out there is in jeopardy. The rampage is Kamora's problem, but this crater business affects all surrounding regions. I'm making it your top priority. Oh, you, 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 you're sending Nova to the Kingdom? We're in your debt. As a Knight of the Order, I must show my respect and gratitude for the Elder's decision. To lend us your strength. I pray that the flame of Gamora will prove to be the light of hope that the kingdom needs, but do take care of yourself and my sister. Well then, call upon me once your preparations are complete. One more thing before you go. While we are fighting, while we were fighting with the rampage 50 years ago, the kingdom had their own mess to deal with. 
We were all so busy looking out for our own necks, we didn't even stop to help each other. This is a chance of a lifetime, Squirt. I'm putting my trust in you to make it right. Now you're going to experience a lot of new and bizarre things, maybe even a little culture shock, but it'll be good for you. <laughs> well, thanks, Fugan. Jeez. All right, Squirt. Go out there and show them what a hunter of Gamora is made of. I'm liking this so far. This is lovely. The story doesn't need to be incredible. The story doesn't need to be like, oh my gosh, you know, breathtaking, tear-jerking moments. But the st I mean, the story so far, I mean, does a problem, and we got to solve it. So let's solve the problem. Um, let me make sure. I'm ready to start. Up. Okay, because I don't know what's gonna happen next. Well, let's figure out what happens next. What up? Let's do it. Okay. I must thank you again for lending us your strength, Nobuna. I've already sent word of your cooperation to my superior. Well, then everyone's awaiting your arrival. Shall we depart? You will temporarily be unable to return to Kamora Village. That is an issue. Why? I gotta leave my house, my homeland. That's okay. That's fine. That's okay. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. I feel like this boat's gonna be a, a, a little theme we got going on here. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at there. I tell you what I get a feel of with this, with like all the uh, building fixtures and stuff. I get a, a kind of like a medieval Astera vibe. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's 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 what I get. Of course, that's just looking at it from the outside, loving the gear. That little train is absolutely adorable. That is hilarious. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. So let's see. Long journey. Hmm? I am Gallius. Admiral Gallius is in charge of operations here at the Algoro Outpost. As his adjunct, it's my duty to support the Admiral in his work. So we'll be receiving mission assignments from me in accordance with the Admiral's wishes. Master rank number one. Nice. Alright, so we got master rank. Story of Master and Arise, some regular advance. As you complete key quests, your master rank will go up as well. Complete each rank's required number of key quests, of course, as usual. 
Add new key class to increase your master rank. That's awesome. So looks like I need to go So, I'm going to go explore Elgato, and once I'm finished, we'll try to figure out what goes on next, but um, I'm going to take a look around, see what I can meet, see what's going on, and when I get ready to start the next quest, I'll be back to start recording again. But until then, we'll see you guys a little later.